Hey everyone, hope you had a good day. Today's reading is Exodus chapters 1 through 3 and Galatians chapter 5. We'll be in Galatians chapter 5 for this video where Paul continues his criticism of the Galatians. In verse 7, Paul said, You are running a good race. Who cut in on you to keep you from obeying the truth? In verse 16, he reminds them to walk by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. In verse 20, he describes the acts of the flesh in great detail. They are sexual immorality, impurity and debauchery, idolatry and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions and envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. Now, I know there's a lot of teaching out there today that emphasizes the Jesus is love message, but conveniently leaves out this part of the gospel. And Jesus was pretty clear about the message Paul is trying to send to the Galatians. For example, in Mark 7, verse 21 and 22, Jesus said, For it is from within, out of a person's heart, that evil thoughts come, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, lewdness, envy, slander, arrogance, and folly. And he doesn't sugarcoat eternal separation from God if we don't repent for our sins. That eternal separation includes weeping and gnashing of teeth. And in Luke 13, verse 5, Jesus said, unless you repent, you too will perish. So don't get it twisted. There's an expectation for Christians to live their lives a certain way. However, we all fall short. No one is perfect. And that's why we need faith in Jesus and we must repent for our sins. As Paul says here in Galatians 5 verse 24, those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. That's all for today's reading. Tomorrow's is Exodus chapters 4 through 6 and Galatians chapter 6. See you later.